Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to present to you a man whose great learning and veneration for truth are only exceeded by his high moral character and majestic presence. <laughs> I refer in these vague general terms to myself. <laughs> I was born modest, but it wore off. <laughs> Vast stretches of the river open up and reveal themselves. The water's glass smooth gives off spectral little wreaths of whiteness. And all this time there's not the least breath of air, nor stir of leaf, until a bird pipes up. Another follows, and soon the pipings develop into a jubilant riot of music. Now you see none of the birds themselves. You only travel along in an atmosphere of song which seems to sing itself. When the light has become a little stronger, you have one of the softest, fairest pictures imaginable. You have the intense green of the massed and crowded foliage. I took the Overland Express over to San Francisco. I was going to be a millionaire in those silver mines, don't you know? Well, when I first got San Francisco, I found it to be a very strange and wild place. There were open air gambling casinos, a saloon every 50 feet. A jail over ten feet. <laughs> Hotels of some notable repute. And some talk of building a church. <laughs> it was no place for a Presbyterian. <laughs> and I did not remain one for very long. <laughs> 